Okay, so a friend of mine on YouTube decided to do a desk show off, walkthrough, whatever thing. So I thought that sounds like a pretty neat idea, and I had a few things in common with his, and I haven't seen him in years, so I figured I'd throw together one of my own and narrate it as such. And first things first, I'm going to put the little thing around my wrist so I don't drop the camera that is not mine. Okay, so first things first, I guess for a computer desk show off would be the computer desk, where you can see I am happily watching my own YouTube videos. I can explain. I'm going to blow this up till it blows up. Literally. Inflate it until it explodes, I can see everything. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but uh, something does explode at the end. Anyway. So there's the computer screen. You may be asking yourself, where's the computer and why don't I have three computers like he does? Well, you see, he has three PCs. And if you want to consistently use a PC, you've got to have at least three so when one fails, you have at least two to back up on. Myself, just a Mac Mini. External hard drive, yes, but just a Mac Mini. It's consistently working enough that I uh, don't feel the need to have an extra computer around. And you can see here is the hard drive. I mentioned on his that I too have a hard drive that's opened up. Mine is just used for messing around with and checking my wig once in a while because this thing has a tendency to go all cockeyed on you. I'm kidding, it's not a wig. And there's your narrator. Wave narrator. Okay, back to the video. Got a wireless keyboard. There's my phone and my wallet and my Wacom tablet. I don't have the Wacom mouse. He has a Wacom mouse. I don't. And you can see here I've got a controller in case I want to play a little Nintendo emulator. And if I have even less time, I can play even less of a Nintendo emulator and just shrink it down a bit. See, so just play a little bit of Nintendo right there. Joke's over. Okay. Close. And moving on. Got this nice little police scanner that I've Got a Goodwill yesterday for 15 bucks. Looked that up online, and apparently they're going for $130 used. So I think I've got a good deal. And this is Florence, Oregon, so you can tell nothing is happening. This is not a joke. The squelch isn't turned all the way up or something. There's just nothing going on. I heard the Coast Guard give a warning about something, but I think they were just talking about water. And to move on further, we've got. CDs, Michael Jackson, some Weird Al, some sound effects that I was going to use on the podcast, but we haven't gotten to those yet. Some, of course, a stash of candy, because what desk is complete without a stash of way too much sugar and fat and cheese spread? Then going to the left a little further, you see my Legos, which have been featured in uh, at least one other video of mine. So, since... Uh, torn asunder the Lego Volvo that I was working on. The parts went to uh, other projects. And you can see these aren't the total of my Lego collection. These are just the kits that I haven't torn apart yet. The rest of my Legos are neatly arranged in these boxes and bins. And uh, I might have to go over those in another podcast. That is not my computer. That I wish was it is someone else's. Because I'm in a shop right now. Need I mention this is yes yeah, this is how professional this shop is this is the back zone so you don't have to worry about apparently oh static you don't have to worry about garbage back here little heater the backpack and the remote control truck and boat and I've, you can see I've taken the tires off of the truck because on the concrete floor here in the shop no tires equals drifting which is awesome and I can put the tires on whenever I feel like it little uh, mag o random Legos, mostly from the uh, Bionicles collection, which I parted out to make the Volvo. And then uh, the piece de resistance, it's Admiral Rockbar. Oh no, it's a trap. Yes, I've got a fail blogger, a lookalike picture of him on lookalike.com or whatever it is, the fail blog subsidiary. Anyway, that's about it. No, uh, no library of books. No, nothing particularly productive. I do have my iPod Touch sitting in an Otter box, which is every shade of awesome you could ever ask for. Oh, you got on. 
and uh, and that about covers it. You know, the Tums just in case, because I do get heartburn. This is not a plug yet, unless they want to decide to plug and pay me, or just pay me. They don't need to plug me. Um, the SpongeBob mouse pad, which is the only way to mouse, and uh, my Gerber multi tool. Yay! You can do it without that thing. And uh, oh yeah, a little little behind the story here, something funny. I was putting together my first Lego kit in many, many millennia when I came across a piece that was missing. I was building this little car here. And I was thinking, oh crap, I've got a piece that's missing. What do I do? So I contacted Lego. And they said, okay, you want a piece? Bam. There you go. And I was like, awesome, I got the piece in the mail. And then five minutes later, I realized that I had accidentally put the piece somewhere else in the car that it wasn't supposed to go. And so I replaced the piece, and kept the piece that they gave me in a bag. I figured it's worth more just to have this sitting in the bag than it is to try and contact them and send it back. So thank you, Lego. Very good customer service. Overcompensating for something that wasn't your fault, which is awesome. And, uh, and that's about it. It's about all the little stupid trinkets and stuff, other than my paintball gun in the backpack up there. And, uh... And the rest of the stuff you can just uh, add to a scavenger hunt if you've got a YouTube scavenger hunt going. If you were thinking to yourself, I need to find a pair of eagle eyes glasses on YouTube, hey, check that one off your list. Okay, this has been your narrator on the verge of blowing up a balloon, saying goodbye.